So say I want to know the marks or the grade of the marks right here, and we have a marks and grade chart right here. So what we can do is we can use a VLOOKUP function to tell Excel automatically find whether uh, 80 is grade A, B, C, or D, or E. So let's do it. So at usual, as usual, we can I just type all the things first, and then I will explain it to you later. Uh, remember to add the dollar sign on both the letter and the number right here. So in VLOOKUP function, you need to enter VLOOKUP value, table array, call index number, which means the column index number, and range lookup. So for lookup value, we enter A2 because we want to find uh, what is the grade of 80 marks in this cell. And then the table array is the range that you want it to search. So in here, we select the D2 to E6. So dollar sign is just meaning that the fixing position, and I will explain it to you in the next video. It's not the uh, topic right here today. And uh, column index number is means that which column uh, do you want to select, or which column do you want uh, Excel to return the result from in the selected range. So column 2 is means that you ask Excel to search 80, which is the lookup value, in D2 to E6 in column 1. And then if Excel finds it, it will return the result in column 2. So it is here, E. Search in column 1, return the value in column 2. So forces just mean that uh, I need to have an exact search right here. So if you have 80 marks right here, you want to search exactly the column D will be 80. So column D is 80, then the grade will be B. So this is exact search. You can also use you can also type true right here to use approximate search, but this is not a focus today also. So we'll talk in the next video. So you type enter and then it will show you 80 marks and B. So you just drag it downwards and then it will automatically show you the grade according to this chart. So uh, as you as before that we have typed uh, all the information right here and I will explain to you now uh, what I've typed and how to use the lookup array. The array is actually referred to this string of a uh, set of values, which means that now you see that you have a local value right here, it's B3, right? So it is actually the marks, okay? The marks of chain. And then you also have the lookup vector, which is the set of value right here. So is this uh, 0, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, so on. And you also have a result vector, which is the grade, which is shown according to this table. So what this function tells you is that if the values in B3 is greater or equal to uh, the values stated in the local vector, then you return the grade here. So, so if you have a grade that is 90 marks, so it is greater or equal to 90 in the local vector right here, so it will return the value A to you. So let's have a look. And it's A. So when you drag it down across the column, because this is not uh, because a array is actually not the relative path, it is actually an S, uh, absolute path, so it will not change if you drag it across the uh, across or down the column. So same if you have a uh, eighty-five, so it is greater or equal to eighty, so the grade return will be B. And if you see right here, Alice had twenty-five point. 5, 2 marks, so it is greater than or equal to 0 because 25.52 is in between 0 and 50, so it will return the value F to you. So the bill right here, you can see that he, he got 78 marks, so it is between 70 and 80, so it is greater or equal to 70, so it returns the value C to you. I hope it helps and remember to like or subscribe our YouTube channel if you find it useful. And here again, thanks for watching.
HTOCUP is very similar to VLOOKUP. The only difference is that the reference chart right here, the gray marks chart, is aligned horizontally in HLOOKUP while vertically in VLOOKUP. You may have a look of the VLOOKUP videos if you if you want to have a look of that for the reference. But as usual, we have typed all the information right here, and I'm going to explain to you how do we use an HLOOKUP function. So you see that in A2, we have the marks of 80, and we want to get a grade right here according to the marks stated in A in the A column. Okay. So we actually have typed it, or I actually typed it HLOOKUP, and we have a lookup value A2, which is 80, originally right here. The table array, the grade and the marks array right here, which is E1 to J2. And we have added the dollar sign right here, which means fixing. And uh, if you need more help on that, just find our YouTube uh, video. We have a video talk to you about uh, fixing stuff. And we also have the row column index number 2, which means that if Excel finds a value which is 80 in A2 in the range of E1 to J2, then we need to return the value which is from the column 2, which means the second row of this reference chart, say that E1 to J2 as the answer. So if we change it to 1, then we'll be, we need to return the values 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, or 0 right here. Okay, so, so now we need to have the row 2 returned it as a value because we want to find uh, what is the grade we get if we have um, 18 marks, right? So uh, lastly, we have a range lookup. Uh, we need to type false right here, which is an exact search. You can also use, uh, you can also type true right here for the approximate search, but um, Approximate search is not a focus right here today, so I will explain to you in the next video. So you can see right here, oh actually we, we will, let's see that, it should be the marks and this should be a grade. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we have that uh, 80 marks under the H local value, we return to grade to you is B. So you just drag it across, uh, down the row, then it will get the value C, D or A or F, so on. Uh, I hope it helps and uh, thanks for watching and if you find it useful remember to like our YouTube video or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a nice day.